Hello, uh, my name is Council Member Isaiah Thomas. I'm currently a City Council Member at large representing the entire city of Philadelphia. Um, here in the 2023 primary, I am seeking um, re-election for the seat of City Council at large as a Democrat representing the entire city of Philadelphia. The Orange Line. Um, I live near Fern Rock and my son, we, um, <laughs> we are sports fans, so the Orange Line, 100%. The subway, for those who don't know what the Orange Line is. I'd probably say Fairmount Park, right? Um, because of the nuances of so many different things to do there. I'm a softball guy. I also love beautiful uh, views and images. You got a great view of the skyline in the city of Philadelphia. Uh, so that would probably be my, my instinctive guess. But I'm sure someone's going to be mad at that response because we got so many great green spaces in the city. No pets. <laughs> I can say that right now. Children, I have three. I can't give you a favorite because somebody would be mad at that. And I love all my children equal. Uh, my oldest son is 10. My uh, second child, Isaac Quincy, is uh, two. My oldest is Isaiah Jr. Isaac Quincy is two. And my daughter, Oloriana, is uh, five months. My wife is amazing. We have a bunch of plants. Our house has a nice green area to it. So I defer to her for anything <laughs> that relates to the beautification of our house. I say two things. I think the first is having a good group of people around me that can help assure that I stay on track, uh, whether it's my campaign staff, uh, my coaching staff. I still coach high school sports, whether it's my official city council side or my family. Um, I just have a good group of people around me who can help me, you know, get recentered when I when folks feel like or when I feel like I'm off track. A big part of me, you know, staying focused is just recognizing that I need to keep my eye on the prize for the constituents in the city of Philadelphia. Um, as a council member finishing my first term, uh, we see a lot of horrific stuff. This is, job is filled with a lot of emotions, not just our emotions, but the emotions of the constituents. And at the end of the day, you know, that stuff can wear on you. So what does it look like to make sure that you're staying in good mental health and keeping your eye focused on the prize? Um, that, that's a big part for me. So being comfortable talking to people about what I'm going through, what I'm experiencing and how I feel about it, and making sure that I understand that no matter what I'm going through, somebody else in Philadelphia is going through something similar or possibly something even worse. And it's imperative that I make sure that I keep them as the main focus so I can fight for our city. Man, I don't have one, man. It's, they, you know, I know everybody picks gritty, right? But nah, man, I ain't doing it. I ain't jumping on that bandwagon. I'm a Sixers fan, I'm an Eagles fan, I'm a Phillies fan. Um, so I'll go with the Fanatic, old school, right? Let's just do that. But that's my disappointment in the Sixers for their lack of a mascot. Um, so first and foremost, when you look at crime in the city of Philadelphia, it's a number of issues that have put us in a position to be able to uh, see the crime that we're seeing. Some things we can't control as city council members, like raising the minimum wage or issues around ghost guns, but there are some things that we can't control. Uh, so first thing is from a legislative perspective, making sure that we put more money into schools than what we've seen in recent history. I think a big investment into schools as well as into prevention-based initiatives will put us in a position where we're making sure young people's time is occupied in a positive way. We also have issues around trash and dumping in the city that kind of indirectly pro pro propels the violence that we see in the city. Uh, so I introduced the Citizens Watchdog Bill that will activate constituents across the city of Philadelphia to try to incentivize them to begin to help reporting illegal dumping and addressing other issues as it relates to nuisance crime in the city of Philadelphia. Um, if re-elected in May, I'm hoping to pass this bill into law and put a system in place that will begin to uh, offer a number of solutions as it relates to some of the crime that we're seeing in the city. Philadelphia is probably poorest big city in the entire country. Uh, we're the only large city with over 20% of our city living in poverty. And part of that is because we're one of the few major cities who don't push our poor people out of the city. Uh, what we don't do a good job of is elevating people out of poverty. Uh, part of that is issues around the minimum wage, but another part of that is um, just issues around business growth and startup businesses. So um, there's a couple of things. Number one, um, I led the charge last year as it relates to uh, introducing legislation to lower the bird tax in the city of Philadelphia. And that's significant because the bird tax is the tax that hurts small businesses in the city of Philadelphia more than any other tax. Um, I also uh, put us in a position to begin to attract new industries to the city of Philadelphia. Everybody knows Philly for our eds, meds, and beds. We're great with hospitality. We have a ton of universities, and of course our hospitals are amazing. But um, outside of that, we need more industries. We see a growing biotech industry happening in West Philadelphia, and one of the things that I've been trying to do is attract new industries to Philadelphia. Uh, we had a huge gaming festival um, a little while back that we feel like can help put us in a position to attract 
and make Philadelphia a gaming city. We have a lot of other festivals and initiatives. I invested significantly in the arts and culture space, and I plan to do all those things moving forward to help grow the economy, uh, specifically supporting uh, small black and brown businesses as well as other entrepreneurs and sole proprietorships.